Now let's talk about one of the trickier topics in PHP, which is type switching and type casting. So I'm going to go to the type juggling page. And this talks about conversion between types. So for example, in the previous lab, you put together a simple form and then you used get method to pass user input to a web page. And the user input is going to be in the form of a piece of text, a string that a user types into an input box. But in your web page, you might want to treat it like a number. For example, in my Ohm's Law calculator, the user entered 4.2 under volts, but this was interpreted as the number 4.2 rather than the string 4.2. So some types of type conversion or type casting happen automatically. For example, if I have a variable foo that has the, ver the value, the string 0, and I try to add the number 2 to that string, it's going to automatically convert the string to a number before doing the addition. Similarly, if I have an integer, the number 2, and I add a float 1.3, the result is automatically going to be converted into the float 3.3 and stored in the variable. So often this does what you want. The PHP language is designed to do what you want most of the time, but sometimes you get results that are somewhat unexpected. So for example, if I take the number 5 and I try to add it to the string 10 little piggies, PHP is automatically going to try to convert this string into a number before doing the addition. And what it's going to do is it's going to start reading from the left-hand side. It's going to take as much as it can to form a number, and that's going to be the final numeric value of this string. So 5 plus 10 is 15, and that's the final value that I get in foo. It's going to completely ignore this part of the string entirely, and it's not going to give a warning or an error message when it does it. This can be really concerning when you accidentally do something like this. And then if I go ahead and run that, you'll see the result of 3 plus 3 is 3. Because when it tries to convert this thing to a number, there are no digits in the front. So this thing numerically is just the number 0 here. So we're going to see that in a while when we talk about loose comparisons, but it's worth noting. You can manually cast types as well, and there's two ways of doing it. If you have a value stored in a variable, you can use set type on that variable to change the type. And then you can also do something called a cast operator. So let's look at what those two things look like. So let's go ahead and set the variable a string to a, a piece of text, which is 3.1415. And then we'll set a number equal to, and here I'm going to use the cast operator. A string. So this is how you write a cast. Open paren, and then you put the type you want to turn it into, and then whatever expression you want here. And it'll take this value, turn it into this type, and then store the result here in this variable.
So this is going to show the type of a number, which should be int, and then the value of a number, which should be 3. So a type, a number of type integer with value 3. Now I can also do the same kind of thing with float. So I'll set a float to be float of a string. And then I'm going to output the type and the value of a float. So a number of type double, float and double are synonymous in PHP with value 3.1415. So one other comment, when we go to output these things, we're using the concatenation operator dot to add a piece of text to a number. And so PHP is automatically converting the type of this value to a string before it adds them together. So this happens automatically, but you can do it manually as well using cast to string. So let's cast back. So a new string is going to be equal to string of a float. And then we'll go ahead and we'll output the type and the value of a float of a new string. So a number of type string with a value 3.1415. So this is text now, and then it adds the text to this text. Here it's a float or a double. It converts it to a string, and then it adds the string to this string, concatenates it. So you can do the same kind of thing with set type. I can say set type of a number, which is an integer, to string. And then I'm going to output the type now. and I get a number of type string with value 3. So I've done the same thing as the cast, except I've changed the type of this variable. And then I can change it to a float. And I'll put the value again. And this time it should be a number of type double with value 3. And it is. So you'll notice that even though that this value is a double, 3.0, when you go to convert it to a string, it's automatically converted to 3 because it's a whole number. So PHP automatically drops the trailing 0 there. So we know that the type is double even though it looks like an int. So here's a list of the different cast types. So you can use int or integer for whole numbers, bool or boolean to cast something to true or false, float, double, or real are all synonyms for floating point, string for string. We'll talk about arrays later this week um, and objects near the end of the term. You can also cast something to unset if you want to turn it into a null. So this is the type for null. And if you're interested in more specifics about casting to these different types, here's a list of casts that you can do.